Allah Alba Merhaba Merhaba I said my friends welcome to my show That's my Yani Sari Sorts Today's show will be Turkish influence cuisine We have the metal mad metal mad metal mad max Twist okay like always in the beginning thank you very much for watching me without you I'm faceless and silent with you well take this entertainment cooking business today roof baby all right I'm not using swords today I'm doing something different <coughs> I'm uh, reading uh, right now uh, articles about um, First Siege of Vienna in the early 1600s and it's involved of course Ottoman Empire and who's Ottoman Empire? Turks and uh, I decided to make a lame saying because that was an album with Michelle yesterday and I found a really nice fresh lamb shanks for a good price always have to be frugal shopper so we got those things you can use you know for cooking and also you can use for bitch slapping somebody with your meat all right let's go do this thing all right i got a pan preheating a little bit of the oil blend not the extra virgin because the extra virgin will burn and will go to hell really fast so let's go do this I got holy salt and pepper from Schwinzonka from Easter. We have to use it up. A little bit salt and pepper. I like to go back to basics sometimes. Sometimes I go really, really crazy marinades. Uh, lots of uh, ingredients and seasonings. Well, I got kind of. Uh, go to basic uh, kick. So, it's very easy, I cut the piece of fat, I don't like discarding it, alright, we got the salted and pepper it, that's it, that's all I need, and then we're gonna get this magic powder, it's white powder, some people I'm sure used to use the ma different magic powder, we're gonna drench our lamp shanks with this magic powder so we create a little bit of nah, with the hand flour crust you know so the caramelization looks nice all right and the pan one two we're just gonna slightly brown those babies up all right cover with the salt and pepper and flour high heat let's go do this thing all right wash your hands wash the cooking bowl so we can go with this rock and roll, let's go drink some rip it so I stay energized and ass kicking uh, mode my friend ah, delicious all kinds of things going in the stove I got some beef excuse me, very lean ground beef browning for tacos, burritos, and all that stuff. And uh, I got some canned tomatoes from Italia. You don't have to use from Italia, but they just peel tomatoes, whole tomatoes, goes to the Dutch oven. We're gonna use in Dutch oven. You, I first just was doing in a walk, but then I decided the walls in the walk are a little bit too thin like it was in the Vienna and some parts in 1529 that reinforces it in the people of Vienna win this battle and the Turks never get to the side of the city the second siege of Vienna was when my countrymen helped out a little bit holy Roman Empire of German nation but that's a different story alright we got someone Large onion chopped up goes to the Dutch oven. Goes fast. Another ingredients. One, one. 
cloth. I want this little bit of funky taste there. Two of the delicious uh, Old Spice. Not Old Spice like those old men using once in a while, the cologne. And five pepper corn. Two bay leaves. Goes to the pot. One large carrot, peeled, not sliced. I just want a little bit sweetness from the carrot. But I want salt be really basic. See, I don't do garlic. You know, I don't put garlic, you know, people go like, oh, Lemshanks, no garlic. No, it's no garlic today. I got no garlic mold. I got some beef stock from roasting some roast. I save it. That will go inside too. So you always have to be very careful with the salt in your meat because you always get at it. You can't take it out. It's very hard. And then the recipe usually called for peppers, red bell peppers, green bell peppers. I don't really care for cooked bell peppers. They give me indigestion and gas and I just don't care for flavor on it. So I got one large jalapeno. I take the seeds and ribs out so it's no heat. It's just nice flavor of the pepper. See we're doing Turkish cuisine using different techniques again, you know, sauteing with the flour on it. So they go to the pot and Hungarian paprika. Hungary, uh, they got a little dispute with the Ottomans, they got conquered, they under Ottoman rule for 500 years, almost no, not 500, 300 years, I'm sorry. So big, big, maybe the yeah, that's what I got scared for a second. I thought my it was habanero dust. That will be if I put this much habanero dust in it. Think the only person who will be to eat this will be Lola. Lola, 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 no, Laura Oliver, my friend. Hey, what's going on? Two big pinches of the sweet nut. Nut. I'm repeating, smoked paprika. And that's all I need. Oh, because I always support the local ingredients and the local let's go right. No, not ready yet. Not ready yet. I want the slightly brownish color on it. Because anyway, you know when you done cooking, always put your stuff away. So then you got your area nice and clean. Where's my lid? Where's my lid for my paprika? Boom! There. So your area is always nice and clean. And you don't have to deal with the lots of obstacles. Alright, we're gonna free wash this. Rewash this baby, then we go to this washer, this side bowl, a little bit of the soap. It's so pretty, so pretty, like some of the male concubines of the Ottoman emperors. Did they get a little bit of uh, that different story again? They have some empires, they got usually harem, not usually, they always got harem, it was the concubines and slave women and slave boys many times, you know, who's doing some funky stuff in the suit and palaces. Alright, let's go see, well, that's my Turkish dagger, no, that's not Turkish dagger, it's my new knife, I use for like okay this uh it start going to bubble like you guys see i don't add any salt because i add roasted beef stock which was already salted and i don't want any salt all right well oh look at these babies i got some nice tomato too maybe we're gonna do something with it yeah 
I should put this sticker on. Nah. Put that right here. Whoa, the tomato really fast. And look at that. And a half. Boom. 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 Let's go use fresh tomato too. Maybe. We'll add a little bit flavor, acidity and flavor to our dish. We got canned tomatoes. Oh, not can. I'm sorry. Freshly picked and preserved with the freshness tomato. So this baby goes in. And like I said, I always support local product. Yep, yeah, that's what we need. The little caramelization and those legs. Alright, we're doing the thing. Try again. Because I support, that's the third time I'm starting the same bullshit. Alright, sorry. Because I support the local product, I want to use the local ingredients. Get the fuck out of this thing. Local ingredients, so I'm going to use very secret. Very exclusive to area ingredient. It's gonna be my Michigan touch on this Turkish recipe. Pre-boiled Michigan Detroit river water. Extremely good. Extremely fun. Boom! Goes to the pot. The only ingredients mingling up there. I mean, you can add whatever you like, you know, you can add a bunch of garlic, you can add some uh, rosemary, you know, basil and all that stuff, but now, in this recipe, I'm focusing on the flavor of the shanks, if they didn't marinate them, I didn't, you know, uh, keep them for a couple of days, you know, with my secret spice, I just want flavor of the lamb, because meat was extremely fresh, extremely lean, I want just lemminess. Not lameness, but lameness. Alright. So we got this little seal, little brownish tint. Mmm, that is smells good. And go to the star baby. Turn it off. It's emerging there. Then shakes. With your future source of raising liquid, high heat for half an hour, and then when it comes up to boil, boom, drop to very low heat, and let's say three and a half hours till it's fork tender. Serve with some good rice or couscous, or even some you know pita bread to scoop out the. Goodness. Well, first of all, you have to check for spices, you know, if it's salty enough, if it's peppery enough, paprika enough, you know, it will be lemmy enough because you got this delicious lamb shake there. Uh, and that's it. You know, a hit of the fresh parsley in the end of it, maybe some toasted almonds for a little crunch. It's up to you, you know, the possibilities are endless. Alright, my friends, let's go check it out the lamb shank action. Right here, they do the thing, and that's me again. Your Bezir, your Bay, Maxakuzogazi Bezirion from Celebi family. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Without you guys, I am just a number and brick in the wall. With you, we'll do something. Thank you very, very much again for watching me. Metal Chef Bit Makes Love Ya. Until next time, booyah and shake that shit, baby. And be kind to each other and rock and roll. See ya next time.